Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to launch Google Chrome in incognito or private mode every time you open it up by default. So it should hope be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So you guys want to open up the start menu here, and you want to type in Google Chrome. Best match should come back with Google Chrome here. Right click on it. Left click on open file location. Now there should be something that underneath type columns says shortcut with Google Chrome in it. You want to right click on it. Left click on properties. In the target field up here, you want to go all the way to the end after the chrome.exe in parentheses. You want to do a space and then you want to type a minus sign incognito so I-N-C-O-G-N-I-T-O -N keep mine as a little minus sign out in front and again you want to have a space between the end quotation of the chrome.exe and the space and the minus sign so once you have it as it appears on my screen you want to left click on apply and if you get uh, you will need to provide administrator permissions to change the settings left click on continue Give it a second here, then left click on OK. So if we just open up the shortcut right out of this folder here, it should launch in incognito mode right away. And I'll just show you guys for demonstration purposes. And you can see we have Chrome open in incognito mode. Now what I would suggest if you have a taskbar icon would be to right click on it, unpin it from the taskbar. And then I would suggest dragging down the shortcut that we've edited in the program folder. Move it down to our taskbar here so it looks the exact same. But now if you open it up, it should open up in incognito mode. So just so you guys understand that if you have different shortcuts, it might not automatically lead to this. And that's about it. So again, if you wanted to make a desktop icon, the same principle would apply. Just bring it right over, copy it on the desktop, and delete any existing Chrome um, shortcuts you have. And that's about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.